Well, it's uh, week 14. Um, uh, good morning. Uh, if you're watching this video in the morning, good evening or good afternoon, wherever you are. Uh, thank you for joining us. And it's finally our 14th week. For those of you that are in Fiji or parts of Fiji, I hope that you are safe. Um, you uh, have got your first vaccination. If you have, I understand if you uh, haven't got yours and um, uh, it's because um, you don't want to get yours. I respect that. Uh, you just take care of yourself and your family. Uh, those of you who are far away from home, uh, Malo to Tonga and Talofa Lava to Samoa and hello to the Solomon Islands and Vanuatu. Uh, kia orana to the Cook Islands and thank you for joining us for week 14 where I will be discussing your final uh, exam format and your um, and, and the outline of your exam. So please listen carefully. Um, you can uh, you are very fortunate that this video is recorded on YouTube and where you could uh, view it uh, many times. So please it's very critical that you share this information, especially for those of your friends that do not have um, internet access, you can send them the document, let them know what, what, they, what they're what they aware of. And uh, um, especially those on the outer islands and don't, who don't, do not have internet access, you can tell them to download this on YouTube, send them the link, and also they can download the paper and they can start working on, as well as you. So please uh, take care. I will, I will do the recordings and then our sessions this week if you notice, notice from the title that I'll put out after this, uh, it has review, exam reviews. Those sessions is not for me to go over this, what I'm talking about now. Those sessions are basically uh, for, for you to give me some feedback from where you, uh, what, what, you um, uh, what you've read and, and, and what you've listened if you, if you want to ask me questions. So I'm not going to go through the whole thing. It's just a review. So it can be like 10, 15 minutes or... So there's one on Tuesday. There's no class, no tutorials on Wednesday. There's one tutorial on Tuesday, and your tutorial is at, um, I think yours is at uh, uh, 10.30, yeah. 10.30 to 11. That's your tutorial, 10.30 to 11 on Tuesday, and 10.30 to 11. Just check if I'm correct, if you see on Moodle, on, on Thursday. So there's one on Tuesday, one on Thursday. Because this um, this has been recorded, you can listen to this as many times as you want. So please listen to it carefully and then you come on board and then ask me questions. Okay, I'm gonna share the paper. This paper will be disposable to you. So don't, um, um, you know, don't be don't be scared or wh where do we get the paper from Mr. Herda, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, I'm gonna share the page, all right? And we will be doing our TS-108. Okay. Thank you everyone and welcome. First, the first point is everybody has the same paper, whether you print, blended, online, all right, or face to face. The paper has only two sections, only two sections. 30% is the multiple choice. You notice that I don't have the multiple choice here. The multiple choice is on Moodle. It'll, you, you won't see it on Moodle now. You'll only see section B, which you can download section B. So you can download section B from these, from when I, when I go on. Uh, when you go into Moodle, or it'll be attached um, to the to this um, attached to the notification to the announcement. You'll see it. You can get it in two areas. You can get an announcement. The attachment will be there. This actual actual document. So it's good for you to print it out, or you can keep a soft copy, or you can go into your Dropbox where it says final exam, which is open now on Moodle, and you can download it from the Dropbox. Okay. Don't upload anything. It's just a Dropbox attachment. It's the same, exactly the same one. So the section A won't come up until next week uh, on Monday. It'll come up on Monday and it close on Saturday. I think Saturday or Sunday. Okay, so that's the 30 marks. It's like how you do the, what is this? The, um, it's how you do the, um, you know, the review test, you know, the review test, the review test one, two, three, and the MST, it's the same multiple choice. It's uh, some of the questions from those, um, from those multiple choice and some are quite new. So. It's it's jumped. You know you don't need to copy your friends or exchange information because it's uh it's randomly um it's it's randomly mixed and then you'll be uh, every everybody who's who signs in will get a different uh different test right so thirty percent 
What I'm here to talk to you about is the paragraph writing, which you will download this paper and then you will start doing the research, all right? So you will notice on the Dropbox that your your test, this is the, so because the multiple choice is, is next week. Week, week um, this week, this is week 14 we're going to now. Week 15, your multiple choice will open on Monday and it'll close on Friday or Saturday. I'm, I think it's one of those days. Um, your, so you have one week to, to stuff to yourself. So please, with regards to the multiple choice test, don't come back to me and say that my internet was low or I didn't have time. Can I do it again? It's the, we gave some of you, we gave chances to open it again, but you must plan. You must go to an area where internet is sufficient. You must, you must plan out the time that you're going to sit for it because you cannot come back to me and say, can I have a second attempt because my, my computer died or my, um, well, the internet was not internet just didn't work you've got to go to a place where the internet you have to be very sure so you got that's what you got to plan you've got the whole week to plan from now till monday so you can publish on wednesday don't sit on i would suggest you don't sit on friday uh or if not friday morning the latest because you might have a malfunction or the networks that's why i said you need to plan out your exam well so section a please plan it well all right that's on monday but from now till the your the Dropbox for section B closes on week, that's week 15 is section A, week 16 is section B on week 16, July the 6th. July the 6th is Tuesday. They close at 11 o'clock, 11 p.m. on July the 6th. Again, you cannot ask for an extension. Again, you have to scan or turn it in. The Dropbox is already there. I'm going to open it right after this video and you will see it. Okay. So very, very important that you, because once I close it, I'm going to have to start marking. Okay. So very important. All right. So there you go. Um, the fine TS 108 final exam. Section A is online. Your multiple choice. You go online, you sign in, and then you do it. It starts next week, Monday, week 15 next week, Monday, and it finishes on Friday, I think, uh, if I get the dates for correct. Yeah, um, so you got the whole week to plan. And even in that week, you can still do your research for section B. Section B is paragraph writing. Of course, the paragraph is not, no, you don't do essay. And I tell you what step, so that your question that you are, you might ask is, how long is the paragraph? Um, how do you want us to answer it? I've got all that here in the instructions. So please go through the in instructions. Remember when we met last week, I kept, or the week before, I kept telling you that it's an open book test. Okay, so the test duration will be for week 14, which is now we're starting. You can start research, you can download, read, listen to my video to week 16 on Tuesday, the 6th of July, 2021. Week 15 is your multiple choice. Week 16, so all your tests should be typed, all right? Should be typed on your laptop or your computer. So you've got to get that organized, people. You've got two weeks now to get that organized. Every day you can put something in, every day you can write something, every day you can research and go through your um, section B. Section B is very easy and I'm going to talk about that right after this. After you've done section B, you upload this section as one word document saved under your full name. Don't make two, don't make one document as <clears throat> section B question one, another section B question two, and I don't make another document. Just save all the documents in one, all your questions in one document. Save under your full name and ID, the name that you registered. The due date is Tuesday, the 6th of July at 11 p.m. And ensure to scan your submission in turn it in. All right. So turn it, if you find your turn it in high, you edit it and you and you edit it, which means that you make sure you acknowledge. You must have um, in-text citation, all right? In-text citation, and you must have a reference section right at the end. All right. You will need to do a thorough research of the article or the video and the topics in the questions, all right? So there's some YouTube videos and some articles that you might want to do. So you can go on the internet, uh, you can go um, on the journal articles on the USB library, because the more you substantiate, I will, it'll show me that you've done a lot of research and concrete evidence. I will then give you marks for that. Not just out of the blue and say, oh, I just thought that blah, 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 no. All right, so make sure to do thorough research. So that's why we give it you as an open book test and a lot of time, all right? Two weeks is plenty of time because yours is only three questions and it's not an essay. 
All right. However, you might have a small introduction and go straight into the, the subject. Okay. If you, some some people will say, Mister, can or oh, happy can can we do it as a bullet point? You can do it as a bullet point, but it must be elaborate. So it would be something like the following strategies regarding sustainable management practices are as follows. One, you know, compost, all right, or recycling uh, vegetation or recycling food, um, uh, leftover food, etc. Or having solar panels, etc. Blah 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 blah. All that, right? So, but you it must be comprehensive. It must be. It must have an example, not just one word. You can have a um, lack of leadership or lack of management style or poor leadership, okay? Or lack of staff. You can have an answer like that for one bullet point. But I prefer you write it as a paragraph, concise, um, elaborate with good answers. So how long do you want that the, your answers to be? It's all coming soon. I'm gonna talk about that. And D, you will need to cite literature sources when answering your questions and use examples to explain your answers. And E, include a reference section at the end, all right? Cite literature sources through uh, communication on interviews. We did an interview um, uh, based on your assignment or uh, books, online books, go to this, on, online journals, online articles, all up to date. You need to get them, structure them, read about them, and then put them into your paragraphs. Okay, the 17 marks. So, there's another announcement I want to do. There's no multiple, there's no, in your multiple choice, there's no calculation, but you might have to go through your finance and cost to look at the formulas. They might ask you, uh, what's the what's the formula for this food uh, food cost um, percentage, all right? So it'll be food cost over food revenue or revenue sales, sales revenue times 100 over one. You might ask you things like that or occupancy rate, but very simple things, but no calculation. So you don't need a calculator. That'll all happen. So from from study guide one and two, it will fall all onto here. So what topics are they covered from all the two study guides, except for the one chapter that we don't do is the chapter on the, um, that you don't have to read is the chapter on the, um, the the casino. Don't read, I think it's one of the last chapters. But all the chapters, we've so you summarize it and they all come until so you get 30 questions. 30 marks is for 30 questions, multiple choice, that easy. All right, and there's plenty of time. I think there's 45 minutes for the 30 marks. There's plenty of, because they're very easy ones, common sense ones too, and some that you've done in your review test at MSD, right? Okay, yeah, we go straight onto the paper. This is section B, all right? I have to go through this with you because it's really important. These are the guidelines. Here are the following guidelines when presenting your answers. Font style, Arial. Remember, if you don't follow it and you do your own font style and very fancy, you don't get marked. You'll be, you'll be deducted marks because you didn't follow these instructions. Font size 12, because remember, if you have font size 10, I'll be needing double glasses and I don't wear glasses and I don't intend to wear glasses. So be kind to me. 1.5 line spacing, okay? If you don't know what that is, you can ask me that on my, on my discussion tutorial this week. Remember tutorial this week is on Tuesday and Thursday and the tutorial starts at 10.30. Right, 10.30 to 11.30. Sorry, uh, 10.30 to 11. Uh, each question should start on a new page, okay? So you do the first question, question one, it goes over one page, that's okay. It can go over, follow through to the, the third page, fourth page. But when you start with the second question, you have to start on the new page, not from where you had left on question one. You should use in-text citation, in-text citation, you should know that already because I got the ladies from, um, from CFL and from the Learning Center to come and teach you. You should have at least 10 literature sources in your reference list at the end, which means that if you found five literature sources in question one and uh, maybe another five in two and three, that becomes your 10 literature sources, at least 10 or more, okay? Um, and that, that could include the videos, the videos that I put up. That could be one of your literature. So I put, I think um, one, Two, two, yeah, that could be part of your list. So you just have to look for eight books or journal articles. You saw something from the Fiji Times, all right? Um, so I'm gonna put the essay style guide up and see if you need it as a, but you, you should have it all your own copies, but if you need, I can send it to you. So people will ask me, how long, happy, how long do you want the answers to be? So using that guideline, you look at question one, requires a lot of writing, so it's 30 marks. 
Here's the guideline of the amount of words per question. I don't give you the amount of words, but your question one should be three to five pages. At least three to five pages, not more than, you can have more than five, that's fine, depending on how much, you won't be penalized, but should be at least be three to five. So 3.5 or four, 4.5 like that, maximum five pages. Question two is 20 marks each. So for each question, question two and three should have two to three pages. All right, not, not both questions, but each question, each question should be like question two should be two to three pages or two and a half pages and three could be three pages or two and a half pages. And that's 20 marks. See the macro allocations according to the amount that you're writing and not just according to the amount writing, but the substantial straight to the point. That's actually what I want, okay? Just answer straight to the point, don't dilly dally. Okay, the reason why I'm giving you the, um, the videos is to, is to reinforce your learning, but it also has some of the answers there. So you, when you watch the video, you must take watch with it once, watch it twice, and when the third time you watch it, or when you watch it twice, you take down the notes, the critical messages or the issues or the points. Right? This is not the only video. You can even go on to YouTube again and get up, get another video. Okay, but you need to know how to reference this, and you need to know how to uh, in your reference section to put the proper format because if you don't put the proper format for anything that you outsource you'll be marked down definitely for your exam okay and also it'll affect your turn it in percentage because you don't you didn't um uh, you didn't uh, reference um the author well okay so very important so you can download books don't limit yourself to just this you this this um this video okay don't limit which means that you need to go out and look at journal articles newspaper books, um, magazine articles, um, internet uh, articles, uh, e-books, e e or something online that was published, right, regarding the question. So this is the impact of COVID-19 on tourism around the globe. So it's a very general question. And with regards to that uh, very general topic, that's a YouTube video. So answer the following questions using examples and what you have learned during the semester. So don't confine it to just the topic. Whatever you've learned from other units in the semester, please put that in. So click on this YouTube link below to watch the videos and answer the following questions relating to the videos. The impact of COVID-19 on tourism around the globe. Watch the video. And this is your question. You know, it's quite a lot of marks, 30 marks. From the YouTube videos above or video above, discuss how COVID-19 has made an impact on the tourism and hospitality industry economically, social, culturally, and at a global level and at a country level. See, the question is split into two different things, okay. Firstly, I would do the question, just have a, just a very brief, maybe introduction. When it says has made an impact, always look at both sides, look at negative and positive impact. Those are the two things that you've got to, um, to focus on. So jot your points down, look at examples, etc. And tell us a little bit about how it has affected uh, tourism and hospitality industry globally, okay? But when we do it at a global level, you look at economically positive and, imp and negative impact, social culturally positive and negative impact, and also at the country level, positive and economic impact, okay? A positive and negative impact. So one paragraph introduction little just a small line uh introduction of that positive and negative you either have two or three uh, making references social culture at a global level all right all this at the global level and then also at the country level positive and negative whether it's economic social cultural political legal technological whatever all right so if you have structured answers all right look beyond this scope remember your marks look beyond the scope. Just, just go, okay, I'll just do economic, social, culture, and country level. You can, the scope is very generalized. You can go and talk about technological impacts, how it's impacted the legal system, and, and look at it now. How has it, our legislative system? Look at the newspaper articles, go on the internet, okay? So it's not a, it's, it's not, it's a very open-ended question, very general, but also you can, bringing a lot of your what have you read and a lot of your ideas okay so we we really um, um th that's really um um it gives you um you know some insight yeah to 
um, to um, to explore, to research, to um, to learn. Okay, so this, this is an opportunity for you to get good marks. Okay, so so make sure you do that because that's very important for you. All right, so that's question number one. Uh, if you have any questions, please jot them down and then we'll meet on Tuesday. Um, question number two. Okay, question number two, let's go. Okay, remember last week, I think we went through sim something similar to this. Remember we did event management, if you can remember. Okay, go through those notes again in your study guide, go through the books, you know, again, you got to make research. And I went through the tutorial, I told you, please, uh, uh, you know, and many of you were so good. You talked about all different things. So this is, it's like an open one too. It helps you broaden your horizon, um, see whether you've learned something from the tutorial. It'll show me that you have read. It'll show me that some of you had experience. It'll show me that some of you had done very good research. So in a nutshell, we're talking about you, you are a part of your event management team at the Marriott Resort and Spa that will be hosting a conference in August 2022 next year. Remember, you have to plan for your young hospitality, young hospitality leaders in the region, in the region, which means in the South Pacific region, and 200 participants who have registered online, All right? So you already, you, you've got already information. They're from the Pacific, Australia, New Zealand, uh, the South Pacific region here, um, and they've already pre-registered online. So, you know, they're definitely confirmed. It's not a big, big conference, only 200 because we had conferences where there are 500 participants, but 200 is not small, I would say medium, all right? But still they are very important. Because remember when I did my tutorial with you, I said event management, you you make in a lot of money for your organization, all right? So this is very important that you need to bid, um, to put a bid for this, uh, for the conference to be held at your hotel at the Marriott. The conference director is the person that you report to at the resort has given you the task to work with your events manager. So you are very lucky. You just have been graduated from USP and you're in the management training program. So the conference director say work with the events manager so you can learn from her or him or her and make specific details for the EO, the event order. Remember when I was doing my tutorial with you, I was talking about the event order. So research what the event, it's all in your, in your books. And that's what we discussed in our tutorial last week. List and explain the specific tasks and logistics that needs to be actioned for the various departments from food and beverage, deco, be specific, eh? what is the deco, uh, what type of deco you will have, the color of the seats, the drapery, the lining, everything from the table setting, the centerpieces, the flooring, uh, the banners, okay, all that. Uh, they, so food and beverage would be menus, the type of food and beverage, what type of wine, etc. Everything will be in line with the theme, whatever theme that you come up with. You've got to tell us what theme, because we already told you that it's a hospitality leaders conference, right? Hospital, young hospitality leaders conference. Remember what they see. So you already got what type of people are coming. These are not people in their sixties, yeah. So you know, um, venues for the conferences and meetings, accommodation, tours and transfers amenities, shopping and activities, a contingency plan and other related issues that may be relevant. Okay, why put a contingency plan? So if your dinner on one of the nights, if it's a week long event, how long you want the event is totally up to you. If the week long event and at the end of the week you have a gala and you want um, a moonlight dinner, all right? So everybody comes into their theme as masquerade. It's a moonlight dinner and it's out in the, in the courtyard under the moon and under the stars. Remember, Nandi has beautiful weather, but still there can be rain. You know, we have unpredictable, weather conditions are unpredictable, but Nandi has better weather than Suva. So most of the time, contingency plan, you know, Suva, we get most of the rain, but you must always have a contingency plan. It will be disastrous if you don't, okay? Your function will be disastrous. So in case there's bad weather, where else are you going to have it? And other related issues that may be relevant, like safety and security, uh, what are other things? You know, who's going to come and open the ceremony? Who's the guest speaker, etc. Also include COVID-19 restrictions and policies that must be put in place for the event. So as you can see, last year, from last year to this year, we still had COVID restrictions. It's been more 
um, uh, stringent now because uh, you know the, the COVID has spread spread widely. And don't forget, it won't go away fast. Even till next year, we'll still have those restrictions. So, what are those restrictions, and what are you going to what are you going to do during the function? How you will you manage the function to be a successful event, but also a very safe event, right? Then we also discussed in one of our tutorials, we discussed, so you going to, this is this from that tutorial, you will, you would have learned a lot. You'll have to discuss specifically how you will use the various social media platforms to promote the event. Again, I'm going to tell you, and very important, be specific, don't generalize. Don't say uh, social media platforms will use blah, blah, blah. You need to tell me which platform you use and how you're going to use it. You use Pinterest, you use Facebook, Instagram, you'll share it here, you'll do this here, blah, blah, blah. All right. So I'm just asking for social media. I'm not asking for the mass media. I'm not asking newspapers. I'm not asking about magazines. I'm not asking about word of mouth. I'm only asking about social media. How will you use the various social media platform to promote the event? You've been, you've done this uh, both sessions with me. If you have, if you don't, if you don't know, if you, you weren't on those sessions, all right, um, you know, going to, um, go into Moodle and, 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 and look at the questions that we, with the, that we used, all right? So it's very important going to the questions that we used, all right? Uh, and then I'll, I'll try and put those tutorials up so that you can, but I mean, they're not hard questions at all, to be honest with you, all right? So that's 20 marks, remember, on a new page. Likewise with your last question. See, these are very, you know, to be honest with you, you can finish this like by next week. Yeah, you got all the time and you're at home, all right, so if you don't have internet, please tell your mom and dad you need to buy a data to work on internet. You don't have a computer, you need to borrow somebody's computer to do your research. If your auntie and uncle has a computer at home, ask them if you can work in the evenings. Research, download your notes, download your points, and write it out. You know what? Write it out before you put them on computer. Okay, so it's not an essay. It's not an essay. It's only this. Once you've done this, all you have to do is sit for your, your um, section A. All right, which is next week. You can do this this week and you can finish it next week and upload it the week after. Now we get to the last one. The same with question one. Click on this YouTube link below to watch the videos or the video and answer the following questions relating to the videos or this video in particular. Again, I'm going to ask you, don't limit your answers to just this video. I just thought that this video will help you, but there's more videos that you can use um, uh, on the internet, there's articles, there's um, ebooks, uh, there's our textbook that you can use also online. Don't forget our textbook also can be very useful. It has all these points, all right? So the this is a very interesting video. It's a video on which brings us back to home. Um, it's on the World Ocean Day and Sustainable Practices. World Ocean Day was uh, a few weeks ago. And this one is on Kokomo Island. They tell you how um, the how they are, they practice uh, sustainability in terms of the aquamarine life because they're on an island, and it's how they try to save the marine ecosystem. But the answer is not only on marine ecosystem. It looks at the whole, the uh, at a big picture, at more sustainable environment, the vegetation, recycling. Read more on that. Water waste management system. You know. Um, how do they use uh, solar panels to, to save electricity? So we'd go on to the internet and research places like uh, Nukumbati. Go on to Nukumbati is an island resort that's almost 99% self-sufficient also and um, has a high percentage of sustainability. Okay, so with reference to the above YouTube video, how else can hotels and resorts, resorts ensure sustainable management practices to minimize carbon footprint and a clean environment. In addition, with COVID-19 COVID restrictions or COVID-19 restrictions now in place, suggest other ways these operations can be more social, res socially responsible. So there's three parts to um, uh, this. Um, well, yeah, well, three parts or maybe two. Okay, so I'll, I'll tell you what the parts are. We just have a small introduction and you need to tell us maybe in your country, like in Tonga, in Fiji, or in Solomon Islands, or you can talk about it in global context, in a global context, whether in the Cook Islands or Samoa. The first thing you need to do is to find out what is sustainable management practices. What is it, right? And and how is it 
uh, how is it monitored? How is it implemented? What are the different types of um, uh, elements or the different types of approaches to the practices? And I've just mentioned some already. You are going to also have to find out how does it uh, minimize carbon footprint and what is carbon footprint to, uh, to, uh, to ensure that we have a clean environment, right? Because you need to do those practices so that they minimize these carbon footprints. And in addition to that, you need to find out what is socially responsible, especially at this time. You know, what I'm trying to say here is that social responsibility is like an obligation by the organization to help the community, the surrounding community and the environment. So there are three topics, carbon footprint, sustainable management practice and social responsibility. So because hotels are closed, okay, COVID restrictions, some are open and like with the COVID issue, they're not allowed to have a dinners within the restaurants or um, they only have to go 50% occupancy or they can't have functions on your 10 people. But also how can they be socially responsible? It's all over the newspaper, all over the newspaper. Look at social responsibility and look at what, not just hotels, resorts here, look at what other organizations, nonprofit, uh, individuals, agencies, government, how are they becoming socially responsible? What are, what are they doing for the community and the environment, right? Even though we don't have uh, a lot of money in our economy. I'm talking about Fiji, but in, in, in Tonga, what is it like? In Samoa, what is it like? Okay. And in Solomon Islands, what, what, how can they be more socially responsible? All right. So very, very important. Okay. Um, so my, my tutors um, um, in Solomon Islands, uh, and my tutor, uh, uh, Nimani, you also in Kiribati, please help your students. Uh, uh, I've got an excellent tutor in uh, Solomon Islands too. Thank you. Um, oh, I just forgot. Um, sorry, please forgive me. Uh, but, but he's excellent. Please um, talk to your students about, uh, please go over, with, go over them with, um, with, the, uh, with the outline. Um, I know if you have a chance, you can show the video and you watch it with them and uh, just go over the details with them. You can actually help them, make sure to toil with them and that'll be really awesome. Um, and, and I wish you all the best. Please people do well, um, you know, uh, come on the tutorial session because it's easier rather than you sending me email because remember there's more than, I've got TS-209 and there's other units and people emailing me to clarify questions, that's fine. You just viber me or just email me. But if you can come on the tutorial sessions, I will record them and you can listen to them because some questions will be also asked. Um, it's very important for me that you um, you do this um, and 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 uh, just suss out the question. You know, it's all about research. It's um, you all can get good marks because it's now the ball is in your court. You have to just research and answer. And, and and also, you must have a reference section right at the end, right? So very, very, very important. So again, I'm going to reiterate again, you know, the section A will, will open on your on your emails, on your Moodle section A, you got to do it, you got to plan well, you got to do it online. Uh, section B is 70 marks, there are three questions um, that you got to um, research. All right, so very, very important. Um, you don't limit yourself to the YouTube videos. Uh, plan your work, save your document. Uh, make sure you scan for turn it in. Don't upload your document like the night of when it's due. Try and upload yours at least one day before, at least one day before, but the Dropbox will open well before. Okay, I think I opened it at about um, the 1st of July because it's due on the 6th of July. Yours is due on the 6th of July. Okay. So I look forward to meeting you all on uh, our sessions. Look at your, your Moodle page and you'll see the times. And it's not on Wednesday and Thursday anymore. It's Tuesday and Thursday. Look at the times and, 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 and um, click onto the link. The link, okay? So very important. I'll also have sessions next week. Next week, I'll also, there won't be any lectures or anything, but I'll also have different sessions for people who want to ask me or clarify questions. We will have sessions all the time. So when you watch the videos or when you uh, read the questions after you've heard this video, you watch this YouTube video, download it. Okay, look at the questions and come on, come online and ask me questions. All right. So this time you, when you come online, you can uh, 
just have your um i'll uh, i'll have your youtube as long as you're in a quiet place and you you if you don't know easy place then just maybe you mute yours but um you can unmute yours and just come and just talk it's easier that way for me rather than me reading just just ask me questions one at a time and then we can um share the information with everybody okay guys stay safe take care um it's wonderful we're having you this semester unfortunately i miss you all very much because um you know unfortunately this has to happen but remember we have to move with time and adapt please stay safe i mean take care and i know some of you your parents are you in an environment which is very vulnerable those of you that are flatting in out flatting out or at usp please look after yourself remember that your parents um are uh, paying your fees or your scholarship and remember their that's their love for you to complete this uh this program and i was once like you so i'm always here to help you okay i'm only just a uh, vibe me or just email me i know i might not answer my email schedule but if you vibe me on my phone i can answer you uh, immediately um, um and, and just let me know if you have another issue okay uh with regards to your your mark sheet don't worry the it guy and the instructional designer are just formatting it so that we have a better feedback of it and um and then we can have that done by at least by next week uh, at the end of study week you should have the coursework okay lovely guys so thank you so much uh malolele fafitai lava and winaka vakalevu fayaksha and danyavad thank you everyone sheshe is the last one goodbye and see you in tutorials <laughs>